Welcome back. We're going to continue with automated monitoring of ADFS and AAD Connect. When I first started out back in 2013, there weren't the Azure Health Monitors for these two services. The Azure Health Monitors are relatively effective. I still have these solutions in place. These scripts run on the actual servers themselves. So the ADFS scripts run on the ADFS servers. AAD Connect reports run on the AAD Connect server. ADFS alerts every 10 minutes if there's an error, warning, or a failure. AAD Connect alerts every 30 minutes because we sync every 30 minutes. There's also a daily AAD Connect sync errors report that just basically shows you if there's any errors outputting to Azure AD, Office 365. All of these are pretty handy in keeping up with a busy, large environment. Okay, let's look at some of the moving parts here. Obviously, yesterday I covered the send mail message in my Active Directory monitoring video. You're welcome to watch that. And again, I encourage you to subscribe, share, and like these videos. It helps me keep making new content. So let's look at the ADFS events script. Again, it runs locally on the ADFS server. We run it as a scheduled task every 10 minutes. Basically, it starts out getting the local computer name so we can have that in the subject, you know, which server is sending you the message. The solid gold part of this video is how to make this filter. If you walk away with anything, grab this. And don't worry, I'm going to leave it on the screen long enough for you to pause and type it or take a screenshot, whatever. But let's talk about this. So the path is the ADFS admin. That's the actual event log that we're going to look at. The provider name is ADFS. That's the provider of the events in that event log. We're looking for level one, two, or three. Warning, error, failure. Then we have a variety of these filters. So basically, we know what event numbers we want, and we know what event numbers we don't want. If you have ADFS running in your environment, I guarantee you somebody is outside your environment trying to log in with every possible username and password. I don't want an email every 10 minutes with that. Yes, it is happening. Go ahead and look at your logs. But I want serious events that indicate a problem with the health, the ADFS is failing, uh, the farm master is offline, uh, stuff like that. And that's what these filters, each of these filters defines the relevant event IDs that I'm interested in. Then we also see that there's a time created. So I'm looking back over the last 10 minutes. That's in milliseconds there. So after that, you can write the script any way you want. You're going to get win event from that computer that named itself and use the filter from above uh, with the filter XML command. Uh, my particular script looks at the first item in the array, and if there's something there, then there must be something to send an email about. Because we've already said we're looking in the ADFS log, we're looking for the ADFS provider events, we're looking for errors, warnings, and failures, and we've got it filtered down to the ones we want to see. So if there's an item in the array, then there must be a problem. So after that, I'm just going to echo back each of the individual items in that array into a message that makes up the body of the email and then you can go on and send your email message there. Similarly, AD Connect, this event monitoring script does the same thing. It runs on the AD Connect server, figures out the name of the local computer. Again here, Solid gold. If you're going to filter for anything in the event log, that's your filter there. Again, we're looking in the application folder, the application event log, for items from AAD sync, provider, errors, warnings, failures, and then we know the event ideas, IDs of what we're interested in, and those are those filters, and this is, that's 30 minutes in milliseconds. And same thing here. We go ahead and get those events. 
we check and see if we got any events. If there aren't any, we're not going to send an email. But if there is, then we're going to build up this body of this email message and send that email. Last but not least is this nightly AD Connect Sync errors. And basically, we're just running a batch file that deletes the last report because this command won't overwrite the existing report. Then CS export, you're targeting the AAD connector and you're reading the errors out to an XML file. And that basically gives you a nice little spreadsheet. You have to download the XML and drag it into Excel. But it gives you a nice little spreadsheet that helps you examine your AD connect sync errors in closer detail. It's really handy if you can keep your sync errors down to zero. That helps you maintain a healthy AD Connect environment. And usually the guy that's managing AD Connect isn't the guy that's making the accounts that cause the conflicts. Uh, you'll see some of my other videos about filtering in AD Connect. Uh, we typically have a no sync filter for users. So if I have a problem user account that's causing a sync error, I'll just tag extension attribute 4 is no sync and take it out of the context of sync until somebody can fix it. Okay, so let's just finish up by looking at the results of this sync error report. The first few columns shows you the object ID, the first time the error occurred, and how many retries have been attempted since. Last few columns actually get explicit down to the object and the error message. Most of these in this particular list are basically invalid usernames. So somebody's got a space or some diacritic mark in the username that needs to be corrected. So it's just not going to sync. Uh, there is one object that has attributes in conflict with another. And what's really cool about this report is it lists the object ID of both of the objects. It, the object that's in conflict and the object that is conflicting with it. So... Right from this report, you can begin to work out using your PowerShell connected to Azure or Office 365 and work out which users are involved in the conflict and what attributes are conflicting. Okay, well, I hope you find these scripts and these reports useful in managing your ADFS and Azure AD Connect environment. Thank you very much.